holidays. And back here in the Mountain State, West Virginians are getting ready for snow and bitter cold temperatures, especially on Christmas Day. Our 13 News reporter Cassidy Wood joins us in studio with ways your family can stay safe and warm. Cassidy. Merrily, of course, there are the more common tips you might know of, like making sure your space heater is in a safe place and turning off your Christmas tree lights at night so they don't catch fire. But there are others that you might not think about, so I went to the professionals for those. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. The holiday is almost here and some cold, cold weather is coming along with it. It's going to be in the low teens, possibly Christmas night. And that's when it starts to get the pipes or get worse. So here are some tips from the pros to have a safe Christmas this year. If you have houses with crawl spaces and foundation vents, uh, close off the foundation vents. Make sure your crawl space doors are closed and seal good. Inside the house, there's a lot you can do too, starting with, of course, your smoke detectors. Be sure you have working smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors in your home if you have uh, gas heating. Uh, make sure they are functional. And speaking of carbon monoxide, don't ever start your car in the garage and leave it running. Uh, that will cause a buildup of carbon monoxide as well. And as we know, carbon monoxide is a silent, odorless killer. Another trick opening the doors under your sink. If you have a house that's known to freeze, you probably know who you are if you've had problems in the past. Uh, like your kitchen sink is usually on the outside wall. You can open cabinet doors to let more heat from the house into under the sink. Also, let your faucet run a little bit. Both the hot and cold water, because the hot water will freeze when it's not moving, the same as the cold will. And of course, keep an eye on those space heaters. We don't recommend them, but if people do use them, keep items, loose clothing, blankets, etc., away from them, and small children as well. Make sure that they do have a kill switch if they would happen to tip over. Captain McComas also wanted to remind everyone to watch out for your fur our furry friends. It will be cold for them too, so keep them indoors over the next few days. In the studio, Cassidy Wood, 13 News, working for you.